So, uh, this story has been all over the news. I know we like to pride ourselves on this podcast of kind of bringing you stories that are a little more off the beaten path because you can tune into any mainstream channel and get stories like this. But this one, we had our own angle and we couldn't let it go uncommented on because we are who we are. And because of... So, um, but if you haven't heard, uh, there was a young boy, uh, I want to say 12, 13 years, yes, 12 years old, uh, named Jaden, who goes to school in, where this, I think it was Colorado. Is where, yes, Colorado yes. Springs, Colorado. Mm -hmm. And uh, as kids are wont to do these days, sometimes they put, you know, patches on their backpacks for all number of things, you know, Pokemon patches and, you know. In this case, political patches, you know, their favorite football team, Vietnam you name veteran. it, anything, yeah. anything, right? And this kid, Jaden, decided to put the Gadsden flag on his bag. And for our um, Australian listeners or anybody outside the United States who maybe aren't familiar with what the Gadsden flag is, the Gadsden flag, uh, according to one of the school administrators for Jaden, is she took him out of class and said, you cannot return to class. And if you refuse to take the Gadsden flag patch off of your backpack, uh, we will not let you return to class. And uh, notwithstanding the fact that that's a direct violation of First Amendment right to freedom of speech, and this precise issue has been settled by the Supreme Court for a very long time, not that they're the arbiters of all rights and, and, uh, and, uh, and privileges, but on this one, they have spoken and it's clear that you can't do this. Um, that's what she decided to do. And what's especially commentable, worth comment on this story, is the fact that the reason why she said you can't have that flag is because that flag is associated with slavery. Its origins with the slavery, slavery and slave trade. Now, first point to comment on. This is somebody in This a, is a teacher. This is an educational set. <laughs> like, this damn. is somebody who's trusted to form the young minds of tomorrow. And she thinks the Gadsden flag is all about slavery. It's a more of a militia flag, right? If I'm not mistaken. It had nothing to do with slavery. Exactly, it did not. And I'm just going to read a, a short excerpt because, you know, I don't want to miss some of the little details of it but its origin is in the American Revolution. And then we're gonna to get to our point on why this flag is universally targeted by people generally on the left or of anybody else that supports the regime. So here's what the flag really is. And again, this is five seconds. This teacher could have went on the, where I got this from is the Encyclopedia Britannica website about the Gadsden flag. And here's what it has to say, quote, the flag is named for Christopher Gadsden, a South Carolina delegate to the Continental Congress and Brigadier General in the Continental Army, who designed the flag in 1775 during the American Revolution. He gave the flag to Commodore S. Hopkins, and it was unfurled on the main mast of Hopkins' flagship, the USS Alfred, on December 20th, 1775. Two days later, Congress made Hopkins Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Navy. He adopted the Gadsden banner as his personal flag, flying it from the main mast of the flagship while he was aboard. The Continental Marines also flew the flag during the early part of the war. And if you're wondering where the snake itself comes from, many of you may, you know, Americans, uh, may remember this from uh, your American history class. It was, there was a very famous comic published by Benjamin Franklin where there was a snake cut up into parts and each one of the parts had like New York, Massachusetts, Virginia, etc. And the purpose of the comic, why Ben Franklin had published it, was that just like the snake would die if you cut it apart, if the individual colonies did not come together as one, they would eventually be overcome. So the idea is strength through unity. And so the reason why this, this, the snake is on the flag and why it says, don't tread on me, Right? Because the American Revolution was fought over being tread upon. And so the snake became a symbol for that and coming together and working, to get, working together to throw off the shackles of the, the British Empire. That's what it is. That's what the symbol stands for. It stands for 
a, a revolt against tyranny. It stands for freedom. It stands for liberty, broadly and generally speaking. It stands for the idea of civil liberties being in the hands of the people, not in the hands of their overlords, etc., etc. Not a damn thing to do with the institution of slavery. Just putting that out there for any teachers in the United States that still don't know that.